everybody for attending today. I really appreciate that. I'm going to recite The Ragged Old Flag, written by Jan Johnny Cash. I walked through a country courthouse square on a park bench. An old man was sitting there. I said, your courthouse is kind of run down. He said, no, it will do for our little town. I said, your old flag pole kind of leans a bit and there's a ragged old flag, you got hay on it. He said, have a seat. So I sat down. 
He said, is this your first time you've been in our little town? I said, I think it is. He said, I don't like to brag, but we're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. You see, we got a little hole in the flag there when Washington took it across the Delaware. It got powder burned the night Francis Scott Key sat watching it, writing, okay, can you see? It got a bad rip in New Orleans when packing Ham and Jackson tugging on its seams. It almost fell at the Alamo beside the Texas flag. But she waved on, though. It got cut with a sword in Chancerville, cut again in Shiloh Hill. It was Robert E. Lee, Oldegard, and Bragg, and the south wind blew hard on the ragged old flag. On Flounders Field in World War I, she took a big hole from the Bertha gun. She turned blood red in World War II. She hung lip and low a time or two. She was in Korea, Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her Uncle Sam. She waved from her ships upon the briny foam, and now they're about quitting, about quit waving her back at home. And here in her good old land, she's been abused, burned, dishonored, denied, refused. And the very government for which she stands has been scandalized throughout the land. She's getting threadbare and she's wearing thin, but she's in pretty good shape for the shape she's in. Because she's been through the fire before, and I know she can take a whole lot more. So we raise her up every morning, we bring her down every night, we don't let her touch the ground, and we fold her up right. On second thought, I do like to break, because I'm mighty proud of that ragged old flag. Thank you.